Hi, hi, hi. Hello, everybody. It's Opulent Spiritual with another reading. So this is going to be a candle wax reading. I haven't done one in a while, and we're going to have the purple candle today. And yeah, we're going to see what comes out, what spirit wants to say. So let's see. Let's see. Oh, mm, letter C is here. Letter O, wow. Something is very significant coming in very quickly for you. You're going to be hearing some kind of news. Wow, there's like some kind of beetle here. Good fortune. Something about money is coming to you very quickly here. Someone wants to, I'm hearing join forces with you. They want to um, make a friendship. This could be a new friend you're meeting. A tight-knit group here working as a team. Someone wants to, to get to know you better. They, they want to like be friends with you, you know what I mean? And I'm seeing the, the crescent moon. So this could be happening around the new moon. This is something that's very healing. So you could be meeting a, a really great person that's going to be with you for a while. Through some kind of cycle in your life here. I'm also seeing a butterfly here. So there's transformation, something that involves change in your life, like a big change in your life. I see you changing your life, like a big change. Like see the, see the fire, like something that's very quick. Letter S here. There's, there's big news here coming, very big news for you. Really big news here. Eyes are on you too. Eyes are on you. I'm seeing SOS, so someone definitely needs like your your help. And I'm hearing this week, like they might need your help. They're gonna be reaching out. I'm also seeing the sacred heart here. So you could be seen as someone that is very pure at heart or very healing. So you could be a healer, a light worker. Maybe they're going to get services from you. I'm also seeing a Valentine's heart. So something could be happening around Valentine's Day. Someone's going to be gifting you something very significant on Valentine's Day or a Valentine where they want to be your Valentine. This could be a new love or current love. And I'm also seeing a paw print here. And... This could be love from your pet, you know? They want to say they love you. And I'm also seeing a bowl with, like, flowers in it. Full of abundance and love in your life, which is very beautiful. I'm also seeing... Coo. C-O-O. -O, so, like, I don't know. Isn't that like a name? Not a name, but like a sound a baby makes or whatever. Like they're cooing or whatever. So maybe you just had a baby and they're like crying or, you know, like they're cooing or whatever. I don't know what cooing is. Is it sleeping or crying? I don't know. But that could represent something to you. I'm also seeing the the letter E here. Like flipped. So E could be significant as well. I'm also seeing a little duckling, like looking over like a little cliff, like a little rock and being afraid. So maybe something's gonna make you feel like vulnerable or like afraid, but like you don't have to be. I feel like you need to take a leap of faith. Maybe you're afraid to take a risk or a leap of faith here. Or this could be someone that you're dealing with or some like a secret admirer or someone that, you know, wants to tell you their feelings, but maybe they, they, they are afraid. They're afraid of being vulnerable with you. I'm seeing letter S here. This is like very cleansing. 
if you're watching this like you're getting cleansed right now with this energy the flame is like so powerful like you should be feeling like release like from your body you know what i mean letter b number eight year of the goat i was gonna say year of the dragon and year of the monkeys here as well Number three, year of the tiger, Pisces, Leo, and Virgo is here. Wow, I'm seeing Cancer here as well. I'm also seeing a friendship forming. I'm telling you, it's like a friendship here. Some kind of friendship is coming towards you where it's going to be like very significant. I'm also seeing an elephant. This could have took a long time or you're going to have a long friendship with this person. It's a deep bond with this person, like a big friendship. And they could be a Cancer, Sun, Moon or Rising. Or maybe you met this person in Cancer season. Something with Cancer here. And I'm also seeing a piggy bank. So it's like something with your money. Maybe you're saving your money. And you're going to make some kind of um, purchase here that's significant. Do we know here? Yeah, I'm hearing all as well. I'm seeing a shell right there. So someone's being closed off. They're hiding their true feelings. They don't want to express themselves too much because maybe they're afraid of being vulnerable. They could also be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I'm seeing a female's body here, especially the torso. Like the privates, the belly button, and the breast, I'm seeing. So this could be an area where you're having issues or you're trying to heal this or you're working on this area. I'm also seeing someone being shocked here. Maybe you're getting um, plastic surgery and people are going to be shocked. Maybe they're going to hear that you got some work done or something. I don't know. I'm seeing year of the rabbit, so probably this, you know, this year, 2023 is year of the rabbit, but this is timeless. But yeah, there's some, maybe you're just year of the rabbit. And I'm seeing someone write in a notebook here, writing down, like journaling. Yeah, they're writing a lot of stuff down. And I'm seeing one of those notebooks, like the standard one, um, composition, you know, black and white, you know, like the classic, uh, when you think of a notebook type of thing i'm also seeing a peach here so someone could love your buns baby or you're you're very abundant because like i feel like it's like very lucky as well like a nectarine like a peach you know and you're just feeling good about life you're living your best life there's also a little girl here with her arms out so this could be your inner child being happy but this can also be an offer of love, compassion. This could be coming from like a girl in your life, a daughter, a female. It's like very beautiful energy here. It's very loving. I'm sorry, I'm a little stuffy still. Yeah. I'm definitely seeing the heart here with like, you know, like the What is that? Like veins or what is it called? Arteries, yeah. So there could be something with your heart. Maybe you're you're working on cardiovascular things or like maybe you need to heal your heart. Maybe you're working out too much or too little. I don't know, something with the heart is here. Maybe that's a surgery or something you're going for or I don't know, or someone in your life something with the heart here and i'm hearing good results good good so you could be having some kind of good re or it's going to be a good result with your heart like you're going to hear good news about it that's good that's good that's good to hear
Yeah, I'm hearing cortisone levels, so it could be with stress, you know what I mean? Like, maybe you're stressed out too much, because I, I heard cortisone, so, like, it could be you're, like, you're stressing yourself out for nothing, like, don't do that, do not do that, because that's what kills you, is the stress, like, you know, food is one thing, whatever, you know what I mean? But, like, at the end of the day, we're all energy, and if your energy's all effed up, like, that could really screw you, like, that could really hurt you. So please take care of your health and like, don't let things bother you. I know it's like easier said than done, but like, it really isn't that hard. Do not let people destroy your happiness or your quiet, you know, like your peace, like your inner peace. Because then they won. You know, don't let people take your power away. I'm seeing a lot of mechanical things here, um, like washers and I don't know what they're called, but like in clocks and stuff and like mechanical things. Maybe you work on mechanical things or there's something where you're putting pieces together. Ho oh. ho. You saw the flame get higher. It's kind of hard to see on the top, but like on the side, it's like really high. Someone is really, really passionate about you. Like they want to talk to you. They, they want to like do things with you. Yeah, I, I just saw number three. So three days, three weeks, three months. This person could be coming towards you or you're going to be in a relationship or like, you know, having sex or something like um in that time frame i'm hearing pisces yeah okay so they could have pisces sun moon or rising this person could also wear glasses as well or you're gonna be like wearing glasses or something maybe you're getting new glasses or you need to see something clearer I'm also hearing you could be getting that thing, like that LASIK surgery or something where, you know, people aren't going to recognize you because you're not wearing glasses anymore. Maybe you've always worn glasses and then one day you walk into your job and like, they're like, something's different about you. Oh my gosh, you're not wearing glasses. Like I could see your eyes <laughs> or some shit. I don't know. I'm also seeing letter C again. There's something that's different about you. That's coming across to people like, like, it's like very different. It could be making you more attractive, I guess. Or like people are just attracted more to you because of something that you're doing. I don't know if you're doing some kind of spell work or you're just enhancing yourself. You're working on yourself. Hmm. I'm hearing don't be fooled, you know, don't be fooled by people that are just trying to use you and abuse you type of shit. I don't like that. I'm also getting some something about Japan. So you could be traveling to Japan, um, which that's effing awesome. Like I'm trying to plan a Japanese trip, Japan trip soon for me. Um, but yeah, so let me know. I'm also seeing this woman, she has like big earrings and she's smiling, she's happy. So maybe you're like into like big earrings or you like fashion, you could be a fashion designer or this is someone you're meeting or maybe you're getting into like fashion for like school and stuff or you're an artist. I'm also seeing like a big lotus flower. So this could be part of a new beginning here where you're gonna feel more free, more open, more yourself. I'm also seeing a fortune cookie. So this could be some kind of blessing here, some kind of abundance and good fortune coming to you. Wow. I'm seeing a lot of fruit here, like a lot of apples. And like that kind of lets me think that like you're giving offerings to your ancestors and that you're also taking care of your health and stuff. But like offerings to your ancestors could be significant.
I need you to know something that's very important. And it's about your legs. I'm seeing like you breaking free from something and and it's like you're breaking free because like I'm seeing like in that you know like in Forrest Gump or whatever like when she's like run Forrest run run and like he had those like I don't know what they're called like the splints or whatever like on his legs that metal shit or whatever and it starts breaking as he's running I feel like one, someone could have lied to you about something that you had and you actually don't have it and you're going to find that out. Two, um, you're going to be breaking free from something, either physically or mentally, where you were, like, imprisoned. And that's going to set off this, like, new thing for you. Um, that's something that you really need to know. And I'm also seeing a flower here. Yeah, look at this. It's done. This is also whatever negative was around you. Because there was definitely something negative around you. Like, I'm telling you, somebody was lying to you. Or making you think that you had some kind of illness. Because I'm thinking of like... Oh my gosh. Like, there was like this crime thing I watched. I don't remember who it was. But it was like a famous crime where the mother... was telling their daughter that like they had this like um like some kind of illness like a cancer or something and was making them take medicine and shit like that and they actually did not have anything wrong with them they were perfect perfectly healthy but like the mom was like a sicko and shit like that and then like the the daughter started rebelling on her and like it was like this big thing I, I i forgot what that was called but i'm getting that kind of obviously like it doesn't have to be that severe but i feel like somebody could have been lying to you about like either you having some kind of illness or something and then you got a second opinion and then you found out that there's nothing wrong with you and you know like you felt like an idiot or something like which you're not there's you know th don't think that but like you know especially if you were getting tricked i mean how could you know you know what i mean but like the most important thing is that you're taking care of it now so it could be something if it's not health related it could be that like someone you thought that you could trust you found out they were lying to you about something very significant and it changes everything like a chain of events here um that's what i'm getting And things are just like falling apart in your life. It, and, and don't get scared because look, you see how it's just like falling apart? Like it's because they the, like they need to fall apart. This, this stuff you don't need anymore. Excuse me. That's my intuition. Like <laughs> I start burping and shit. Yeah, I'm seeing Year of the Rabbit a lot. The year of the rat. There's like two mice here. Mm. You could be the type of person where you fall apart over like simple things and maybe you're not going to be like that anymore and that's going to shock people too. You know, like you're not going to just fall apart at any given moment, like just friggin' crying over nothing. It's like, no, you're like thick skin now. You're like over that shit. You don't do that anymore. Maybe something drastic made you change your mind about things like that also this kind of looks like a money bag to me so there could be like a money coming to you like a big amount of money it's going to be an explosion like a bomb the way that this was left in there like it was looks very interesting right but yeah that's your candle wax that's what it looks like underneath maybe you see something that i don't Comment down below, let me know. This is natural light, by the way. There's something opening here. Hmm. And I also heard Swiss cheese, so I don't know. Maybe, some, maybe someone's eating Swiss cheese or some shit, I don't know. But I heard that. Let me just see if there's anything else in here. Yeah, there's something with, like, strawberries here. 
you see it's like a strawberry i mean you can't really tell now because like yeah the water but it looks like a strawberry so maybe you like eating strawberries or you're allergic to strawberries i don't know maybe you're gonna find out you can't eat strawberries or maybe that you need to eat more strawberries oh my gosh i'm seeing a tea kettle here look at this maybe you're gonna be drinking more tea relaxing isn't that cool sometimes like you could see really cool things there's definitely something oh this definitely broke it kind of looked like a weight like you know a weight that you lift um i feel like you could be not using weights anymore maybe you're gonna do more of like body weight type of shit or or you can't use weights anymore for a while or something but uh yeah that's all i have for you i hope you guys enjoyed this and um whatever you had a problem i hope you feel better because it's cleared out now <sighs> nice and released it's gone so yeah i love you guys thank you so much thank you for supporting me i really appreciate you and i'll see you in the next reading namaste love and light